Hey YouTube, what's happening? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update of LTC BTC. There's some different areas I'm looking at right now and I just wanted to bring you guys the update and the charts that I was looking at. So I'm excited to be here with you today. If you like this video and these videos, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I appreciate you all being here with me. Before we dig into the charts, I just wanted to mention a couple things to you all. First guys, I truly, I want you all to learn this, all this stuff, the best that you can. When I got into cryptocurrency, it was around April 2017. And at that point, when I got into cryptocurrency, obviously I was just looking at it as a long-term investment. And I ended up riding that big spike up and I didn't take profits when I should have taken profits. And obviously knowing what we know now, I would have taken some profits. So I started riding it down farther, farther. Then eventually I said, okay, I can tell that sell-offs are coming, so I'm gonna protect myself. And I was able to get out and protect myself. Everything was okay. But knowing what I know now, I could have prevented all that and I could have taken a nice profit. I'm sure many of you guys could have taken a nice, nice profit. And that's what we want to do. We want to identify these trends. We want to be trend chasers and we want to identify when these trends end and when to take profit. Because guys, in bear markets, cash is king. You do not want to be hodling in a bear market. I don't care what anybody tells you. You don't want to be hodling when it's lower highs and lower lows. In a bull market, hodl your butt off. That's no problem. Okay, you just want to be a long-term holder, no problem. But when you're in a bear market, you got to get out and that cash is king. And then, guys, you're able to buy so much more once the bear market fully shakes itself out. And even learning how to play both sides of the market, being able to short you know, in bear markets, it just opens up a whole different world. And I want you all to learn that stuff. Go into my playlist and look at some of that free stuff. So basically what I'm telling you is I started studying this hard because we were going through that bear market and you know this was my first time ever in the markets and I was saying, you know, obviously I got to learn this stuff. If I'm going to be doing this, I need to learn this and I need to know when to protect myself and how to protect myself. So I just started studying and I made this channel and I was just basically learning together, learning with you guys and you've helped this channel grow immensely and I'm so thankful for all you guys who, like I said, who like, subscribe and hit the notification bell who have the notification bell on especially because I can get these messages out. It goes right to you and I try to keep you updated the best that I can. But I want to tell you, believe in yourself. You can do it. You know, there's so many people who tell you you can't do stuff and I'm sure I'm going to have some haters here say, oh, whatever, you suck or, you know, this or that. Guys, it doesn't matter. Don't, don't worry about what other people's opinion is. Work as hard as you can for yourself and at the end of the day, if you did the best that you can, great job. And you worked harder than most people. So always believe in yourself. You know, don't let other people discourage you. And the next thing is outwork the competition. Study the best that you can. I see that there's great cryptocurrency channels all out there. And I want to fight to try to be one of the best out there. So what am I going to have to do? Because I don't have the big name recognition and everything. I have to slowly build up over time and I have to outwork other people the best that I can. And that's what I'm trying to bring to you today. You can learn this stuff. You can do it. And then we can all do this together. You can put stuff down and say, hey, you know, this coin is doing this or this coin is doing that. Check it out. And we can kind of work together here as a community and help each other out. Like I said, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you when a huge whale is going to be coming in. But what we can do is set ourselves up, have a plan for the upside, the downside, and the sideways. And that's what we have to do in this market. This is the most volatile market on the face of the earth. It's a wild Mustang. I don't care who you are. No trader can tame this. This is the whales move. We react. We ride their coattails. That's what we have to do, and that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to learn. I'm still a beginner, but I'm trying to do the best that I can. And you guys, just bear with me. But if you like this stuff and you enjoy these videos, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's get into this quick. One second, guys. All right, so what I was looking at here, this was the trend line we've been paying very close attention to in yellow. Those were our higher lows. And now what happened was we broke to the downside. So do you see this big break here, guys? So overall, what we had here, we were having lower highs. And you can see this trend line right here and higher lows. And we were bouncing back and forth in here. And we've just had a straight drop down, guys. We have dropped 41% in the LTC BTC Bitcoin right here and we just powered right down through that so what I'm looking at here remember this isn't financial advice and I want to see confirmation but we just dropped basically 41 percent without any type of reaction you know, guys typically you'll drop and you'll have some type of reaction you'll drop have a reaction we have not had that reaction out of here and in my opinion we may come back now 
find some support where we're at right now and come back up and retest this trend line as well as this 200 day moving average because that's significant that we broke down through that guys so typically if you just fall through that we would at some point would back test that or have some type of a pullback onto it but what's happening is we're having now the 20 the 50 the 100 and the 200 day moving average pressing down upon us so what i'm talking about here is it would just be a quick one guys maybe if we have some confirmation and we see a nice bounce right off here around 10,026 sats right there, all of a sudden some volume comes in off this doji candle down in here and we see a reversal, we may be able to run up to back up to this trend line in this 200 day moving average. And if you take a look at that, our price range on this would be almost a 23, 20, 22, 23% gain if this does happen. And this happens, guys, a decent amount of time, about 50% of the time or more, you'll see these, okay, we break through, and then all of a sudden we're having a pullback or a throwback onto the trend line to retest it just to see what happens because this has been one heck of a fall. And typically when you have a big fall like that, you'll have some type of reaction off that. And that's what I'm looking to see if I want to play that, as well as the fact that we had volume with this big spike down here so almost like a capitulation sometimes that happens when the trend is going to change you'll have that big either volume spike to the upside or the downside then things will reverse okay but you can see how we are pushing our, our way up here and then we had this huge retracement came back up we could not get over top of it there so we had a failure then we fell back down we just broke through all these moving averages guys they didn't act as any type of support which is crazy so if we don't bounce there i would look down to around that 8432 and then ultimately it's going to be down around that 6787 to the downside but to the upside we'd be looking around that 12338 back testing this trend line then we'd start playing with these moving averages and see what happens so guys, what I want to do now, I'm going to throw on some indicators and I'm going to show you something that I was seeing here. And the reason why I was saying to be able to play a quick reaction potentially. And that's if we get follow through. You always want to be patient and wait for follow through down in here. So we're having a stochastic cross. We're in oversold territory. We're 1.88 and 1.08. So this definitely could be an area with how fast and aggressive we felt to at least have some type of reaction or a bounce off here. And that's what I'm going to be looking at in the day, days to come. Okay, I need confirmation. If all of a sudden tomorrow we put in a nice bullish engulfing candle, then that could be our move back to the upside there. So we want to take a look at that. And then we're going to take a look at our RSI and see how that's looking. Guys, like I said, if you like this stuff, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you hit the notification bell, you'll get all the videos to you, hopefully, as long as YouTube and everything cooperates, it will send them right to you, and you'll be able to be updated this live time. So down here, also, this is typically an area. Obviously, we've been a little bit lower. We've been down around 12 before, but this is typically an area that we could potentially have some type of a bounce from. Down here, last time, we started moving up with higher highs and higher lows. So that's going to be an area we're at 26 right now. So like I said, still waiting for confirmation, see if that's really start to turn up and make an aggressive move to the upside. And then, guys, we'll look at our Bollinger Bands and see if we're overextended to the downside here. It's like we want to do with the upside. And, yeah, we're definitely overextended to the downside. So, guys, you know, this maybe wouldn't be too terrible of an opportunity here if we wait for confirmation and things start looking good to play a quick little reaction there, which could be, you know, 10, 15, 20 percent if you're able to get out if all of a sudden things start going against you or we come up and we hit this trend line and start falling down there. So, you know, those are the things that we do want to pay attention to, guys, and really look at because this has been a, a beautiful move. This was a rounded bottom right here, and we were just moving right up. But like I said, we want to look at candle formations. And do you see this? Let's zoom up in here. Now talk about this candlestick formation right here. Okay. So, guys, this one here. It was close to a or bearish engulfing candle, but we didn't make it all the way down there. Okay, so this is a very bearish candlestick pattern that we had, and then we had continuation follow through to the downside. Do you see that? How we just started falling right there, and and when you start measuring these drops, and you pay attention to them, like that, guys, that's 15% to the downside. They can be very crucial to you and also paying attention to these wicks up here so all this was profit taking do you see how it slowed down we had this big long wick here and then it kind of slowed down right there and we had one final push up and then we just started to fall 
And then we can look at this one over here as well. Very similar. Guys, and you can see basically like a bearish harami pattern right there if we go off the real body. Guys, wicks right up through the trend line there. And then we had that confirmation the next day and we started to fall to the downside. So now, do you see that doji or that indecision there? And that was on big volume. So we're going to have to wait and see today. We're not getting good follow through today. We want to wait to see if we can close back up in there and get some type of follow through here. But we are seeing defense by the bulls down here. You see that? On decent volume. Guys, these are the things that I look for, and that's why I'm taking you through this. Do you see this? This is a bullish engulfing pattern right here off the trend line, just like that. And these are the candlestick formations that you want to learn. Look, bearish engulfing candle right here. We got pushed to the downside into a doji and almost into an inverted hammer. Got pushed to the upside there. And these are the things you want to look for as we continue to go through. And that supply and demand change right there. Do you see that rounded, rounded bottom? This is stuff I look for. Like I said, I want to let you in on some things. Things that I'm looking at, these are what I like to pay attention to. But as you can see, look at these moving averages again, guys. This isn't what you want to see, though. You know, And maybe we get a bounce back up and kind of test those up around that 12,752 sats, something like that. But if you are to play it, you always want to wait for confirmation. And then we would want to see if we do have that reaction or if it's just something where we move sideways and then fall back down even more, some type of little bear flag there. So I want to bring this to you all. I hope I didn't keep you too long there. Yeah, I just want to bring you a quick one. I appreciate you being here with me. If you like these, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. God bless you all.